Rhino is the same as AutoCAD. It has a command line where you can type your commands like line circle so this is like AutoCAD right now is 80% AutoCAD for me because all of the commands 80% of the AutoCAD commands are found in Rhino in on the left side these are the icons and in the bottom it snaps so this is like AutoCAD if to for command history so this is the interface of Rhino the viewport is much more like um, in 3D Studio Max this is the perspective view the right and the top if you double click this it will view full screen double click back same as here double click so this is the viewport Sobrino now in order to say for example a box in order to arc rotate this one right click hold then it will arc rotate see then if you have to pan hold shift then right click okay and now you we need to um toggle this one to um sh shaded mode press the scroll mouse button middle button click this one okay or click this one so these are the functions of the mouse button the left button will you will arc rotate and if you press shift right click it will pan and middle button is for the shaded mode now uh, I will teach you the very basics of Rhino first I do not have to discuss with you with the solid primitives because I think this is not more useful you can use this one but not open times what I'm going to teach you is to create a surface from um, from the um, the lines or the splines okay Rhino is nerves non-uniform base plane so this is the example to create a line then you have to close that one okay now first is I'm going to teach you how to extrude lines but before that we have to study what this line is all about this is a straight line okay then if you have to trace an image or something that is irregular curves you have to choose this one part is on then I need to off it okay right click to end okay so in order to access those points you need to press this one see these are the points and there's also another option for that click this one click back then this one see the difference the points 
is on is in line with the line so you have a uh, more flexibility on handling splines okay now let's go to the first part the extrude so any lines close or or not close splines can be extruded I am more comfortable with command line so I type here ext tr it will come up with so many command in here so I need to use the extrude curve okay then I put the height say 10 inches so that's it it is a single piece and the spline the B spline still there so what happen if the lines are not combined okay this one we have to explode it use this command explode this line is individual so we need to extrude curve enter then height is 5 see now we can explode this by using this one so it is individual okay by the way you can move anything by just click and dragging or you can use this command move command pick this one enter move but you can click and move okay so I need to undo So this is like AutoCAD. All you have to do is always lock this one because the options are are found in here. Now, <coughs> this is the simplest way: extrude. Next is I have to teach you the sweep command. Select those and press delete on your keyboard. Press R2 for or okay. So after that, I'm going to use the front viewport to draw my profile. Okay circle then I need to trim this one trim okay then I need to join those so it's now a single so you see the command is much uh, much like in AutoCAD so if you know AutoCAD it is easier for you easier for you to use Rhino okay so we need to full screen the perspective view I need to move this one snap to endpoint then use with command sweep one which means one rail Select rail, select cross section curves. See, for these options, I leave it for uh, default options. Okay, so this is what happened the sweep command. Okay, now we need to use uh, two rails, meaning the 
profile will run in two reels so we'll delete this one so I need to to know the distance of this of this profile distance command like AutoCAD midpoint or endpoint zero point three one three inches okay so from that I go to top view viewport and offset select curve to offset this side press the uh, enter the value 0 0.313 enter click the side offset this one okay so let's go back to perspective view then let's move this one let's say uh, this point to midpoint of the profile but we need to uh, edit the the path okay so in order to edit the path to access the points we use this and let's say something like this so let us see what happened the profile runs in two rails okay exit okay so it's back to switch sweep to select first rail select second rail then select cruise section curves okay enter enter see this is what happened so there are um, more flexibility in creating uh, sweep command in two reels or one reel so this is very useful if you are making a uh, different kind of shape in in using this command sweep command the next part i'm going to teach you is the revolve okay so i use the front viewport to draw my profile full screen and then another line in here okay then i need to trim this one trim select cutting edge enter select object to trim okay exit enter okay this one i need to join this one now from this i need to use um axis where the profile can rotate or two so this is the first axis that i'm going to use then this is the second axis to copy this one i need to select this and press this copy button and click and drag and escape okay now let's go back to perspective so the first okay, I'm, cap I'm copying this objects here I am mean, going to delete this one so the first revolve the axis is here the second revolve the axis will be this one okay so see the result revolve 
Silic curves to revolve. Enter. Start of revolve axis. Press this point here and point here. And start angle. Then enter. Uh, let's say the default. We use the default. Enter. C. So this is the first revolve. Now what happens if the axis is not on this one? Okay, select this. Revolve. Select the start axis. And axis. Enter. Enter. See. So these are the revolve command. You know, um, this is very the same in AutoCAD so if you know AutoCAD 3D making 3D the Rhino is very much like and you need um, it's not difficult for you to create 3D in Rhino okay so as I told you, the first is the extrude, the second is sweep, and the third is the revolve. Now, the last one is creating a surface from directly from the orbs. Okay, delete this one, not perfectly square. Okay, select this one, make surface planar curves. See, it automatically become a surface. The second one is, I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to explode this. The second is, I'm going to teach you, uh, let's say, the points here is, you see how many points here? So only on the end of the lines. We need to rebuild this to add points. Rebuild, command. Okay, it's a four points and four spaces. Select, then press here. You see, four spaces. Now, because of this, we can edit the lines. Click this one in the front viewport, drag up. Click this one. In the left viewport, drag up. This time you need to uh, disable the auto. Then click this one. In the front viewport, up. You see, the lines are already deformed. Now we are ready for this. So let's see, we have to create a surface from this irregular line. Now, select this four in the minus surface. Select the curve network. See, it will create a uh, um, letters that corresponds this four lines. You can use four, three lines, or four lines. See to it that uh, the lines that you have selected will have a maximum of 4 from this default position or uh, you can you can experiment this one by using your own so I have to click this ok so this is what happened full screen see need to move this one see it's easy so that is a core network so this is the sum up of our tutorial part one of the Rhino basics. The first is the extrude, the second is the sweep, one rail and two rails, the third is the revolve, and the fourth is the curb network. So this is how we can model in Rhino. In part two I will discuss how to use the boolean commands here
okay thank you